There are many stories in the Bible that teach us that there is only one God. The God of the Holy Bible. The God of the Holy Bible is our God that we learn about every Sunday in church. Today I would like to share with you one of these amazing stories about our God. Oh, by the way, this is Mr. Jack. Today I want to talk about a story in the Old Testament of the Bible from the book of 1 Samuel, chapters 4 and 5. You may want to get your Bibles out and read about it yourself after we finished. This story is about a time when God chose to demonstrate that He alone is God and reigns sovereign over all, including the false god of the Philistines called Dagon. In this story, we find that God's chosen people, the Israelites, are preparing for a battle with one of their enemies, the Philistines. The Israelite armies are camped at Ebenezer, and the Philistine armies are camped at Aphek. One day, a mighty battle ensued, and Israelite army was defeated, and they lost about 4,000 soldiers. The Israelite soldiers returned to their camp at Ebenezer, and were very shocked and puzzled. They had lost many soldiers, but why? God had faithfully been with them in recent battles where the Israelites were successful in defeating all their enemies. Why was God not with them now? Had he abandoned them? The Israelite elders in the camp ask in verse 3, Why did the Lord bring defeat upon us today before the Philistines? Let us bring the Ark of the Lord's Covenant from Shiloh so that it may go with us and save us from the hand of our enemies. So men were sent from Ebenezer to Shiloh to get the Ark and bring it back to the Israelite camp. What is this Ark that Scripture is talking about? The Ark is first mentioned in Exodus 25 verse 10 where the Lord gives Moses a command to build this ark out of acacia wood, tells him to cover it in gold inside and out, build two cherubim and put them on the top. The ark was to contain the tablets with the law that God was about to give to Moses. We all remember the commandments that God gave Moses. The ark was designed to be a symbol of the presence of God that the Israelites would keep with them always. When the ark was brought into the Israelite camp, the people raised a great shout in celebration. In fact, their shout was so loud, the Bible tells us that the ground shook, and even the Philistines heard this commotion from their camp. Soon the Philistines learned that the Israelite celebration was because the ark had been brought back to their camp, and thinking that God was with them now and going to help them in the next battle. So many many Philistine soldiers were afraid as they heard about how Israel's God had delivered them from Egypt and brought many plagues upon Egypt. But the leaders in the Philistine army calmed all the soldiers. And there was another battle between these two armies, and the Israelites were again defeated. Many Israelite soldiers were lost And the Philistine army captured the ark and took it back to Ashdod, where they had a house for their Philistine false god called Dagon. They placed the ark in the house of Dagon. Who was Dagon? Dagon was a false god created by the Philistine people. Dagon's appearance resembled a man with a tail like a fish, as shown in this picture. The next morning, the Philistine people arose early to celebrate in their victory in the house of Dagon. But the God of Israel was up long before the Philistines. When the Philistines went into the house of Dagon, they found that Dagon had fallen face down in front of the Ark of the Lord as if Dagon was worshiping the ark. So the Philistine people picked up Dagon and put it back in its place. The following morning, when the Philistines went into the house of Dagon, they found again that Dagon had fallen face down in front of the ark, and this time, both of his hands and his head had been cut off. 
Yes, Dagon was having a couple of bad days. God definitely made his point that Dagon is not a god and that he is the only god. The Lord's hand was heavy on the Philistines in Ashdod in days to come. There is so much more to this story that you can check out for yourself in the book of 1 Samuel chapters 5 and 6 in your Bibles. It is an amazing story. God allowed the ark to be captured by the Philistines to demonstrate to them that Dagon is not a god and that the Lord is the only living God that ever has been or ever will be. The Philistines learned that their false god of Dagon was no match for the God of Israel. King David knew this and wrote about this in Psalm 86, verses 8 and 10. Let's read these two verses together now on the screen. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord. No deeds can compare with yours, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Since our God is the only God, let's remember to trust in him today and give him all of our praise. Our God alone is worthy of all praise. Would you please join me in prayer? O oh, gracious God, we thank you and praise you for who you are, and we know that you alone are God of all creation. Your love is unfailing. You know all that is happening in this, your world, due to this recent virus. And we pray you would grant all of us, your children, calm and peace in these troubled days. We pray you would provide healing for those that are sick and protection and strength to the medical personnel around the world. We know you are with us and will always be by our side. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me in this lesson. May God bless.